Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. In the realm of land-based aerial defense, where precision and readiness are paramount, innovative tactics and rigorous training are constantly being tested. One such endeavor pushes the boundaries of conventional wisdom as the United States delves into uncharted territory with its formidable V-22 aircraft. As we delve deeper into the world of the V-22 aircraft, let's take a closer look at its remarkable specifications. Propelled by two Rolls-Royce AE-1107C engines, each generating an impressive 6,150 horsepower of thrust, Its fuselage measures 57.3 feet in length and expands to 63 feet when stowed. With the rotors turning, the V-22 spans an impressive width of 84.6 feet. While in the stowed position, it narrows down to 18.4 feet. The nacellus reach a height of 22.1 feet when vertical, with the stabilizer measuring 17.9 feet. The rotor diameter is an impressive 38.1 feet, further enhancing its maneuverability and versatility. The V-22 can handle a maximum gross weight of 52,600 pounds. Inside the cockpit are two seats for two MV crew members, three CV crew members, and two CMV crew members, enabling seamless coordination during missions. Continuing with the training exercise, the Marines from Marine Medium Tilt Rotor Squadron put their skills to the test by engaging in a unique ground threat reaction training. Armed with FIM-92 Stinger missiles, they demonstrate the V-22 aircraft's agility and versatility in dealing with surface-to-air missile threats. The Stinger Reprogrammable Microprocessor, or RMP, the missile has a greater than 90% success rate in reliability and training tests. As the missiles are launched, the pilots showcase their expertise in evasive maneuvers, deftly dodging the incoming threats. Employing strategic tactics, they release flares as defensive countermeasures, diverting the attention of the missiles away from the aircraft. This remarkable training exercise not only hones their skills, but also fosters greater interoperability between the U.S. Marine Corps and their Philippine counterparts, ensuring readiness and precision in aerial defense operations. While ground threat reaction training forms a crucial aspect of land-based defense, the realm of aerial defense presents its unique challenges and solutions. In a stunning display of technological prowess, the U.S. Marines from the 2nd Low Altitude Air Defense Battalion, LAD, demonstrate mastery over the skies.
at Marine Corps Outlying Landing Field Atlantic, North Carolina, the air crackles with energy as these skilled Marines employ cutting-edge electronic attack systems. Armed with the formidable Light Marine Air Defense Integrated System, El Mattis, they disable incoming drones using precisely calibrated electronic signals. This non-kinetic approach empowers them to neutralize aerial threats with efficiency and finesse, showcasing the future of defense in an ever-evolving world. As the sun sets and darkness cloaks the battlefield, the critical role of short-range air defense in low-light conditions takes center stage. Amidst the cover of night, their expertise shines brightly as they navigate the complexities of defending against aerial threats. While the specifics of the exercise remain undisclosed, the imagery captured portrays a testament to their unwavering commitment to safeguarding the skies. Amidst the tapestry of air defense systems, one stands out for its unparalleled effectiveness in countering a specific threat. The counter rocket artillery mortar C RAM system. The primary component of this formidable system is the land based phalanx weapon system LPWS, a modified U.S. Navy phalanx close in weapon system mounted on a commercial 35 ton semi trailer. Weighing a staggering 58,000 pounds, this behemoth measures 65 feet long, 12 feet wide, and 14 feet high when coupled with its prime mover, the M916A3. Manned by a dedicated crew of four, the C-RAM system boasts a powerful M61A1 20mm Gatling gun capable of onboard target acquisition and fire control. With a maximum sustained rate of fire of 4,500 rounds per minute, it unleashes devastating 300 rounds her typical engagement. The LPWS barrels are meticulously optimized for use with M940 ammunition, specifically designed to self-destruct beyond 2,000 meters to minimize collateral damage. Guided by integrated search and track radars, this comprehensive system detects and engages a wide range of incoming threat projectiles, providing a robust shield against potential harm. All these components work harmoniously under the umbrella of the C-RAM command and control system, which seamlessly integrates sensors, weapons, and warning systems ensuring a swift and precise response to imminent danger. While the sheer power and capabilities of the C-RAM system are awe-inspiring, its effectiveness is further enhanced by meticulous logistics. Behind the scenes, a network of dedicated professionals ensures the smooth operation and maintenance of this formidable defense system.
From intricate supply chains to comprehensive training programs, every detail is meticulously managed to guarantee optimal performance. Additionally, implementing innovative technologies, such as the Night Eyes CRAM variant, further expands the system's capabilities, providing a robust defense even on the darkest nights. Before the CRAM system assumes its critical role in defending against incoming threats, it undergoes rigorous testing to ensure its readiness. The CRAM testing process encompasses meticulous evaluations and test fires that push the system to its limits. During a CRAM test fire, the power and precision of this formidable defense system are unleashed, validating its capabilities and fine-tuning its performance. Through these rigorous trials, the CRAM system proves its mettle, ensuring it stands ready to protect and safeguard against potential dangers. As the counter-rocket, artillery, and CRAM system diligently guards against airborne threats, another aviation icon takes its final flight. The iconic QF-4 Phantom, once a symbol of human piloting expertise, took to the skies for its mission above the White Sands missile range. As the curtain closed on this chapter, the legacy of the F-4 Phantom II lives on, etched in aviation history. As the prototype YF-4H-1, the F-4 first flew on May 27, 1958. With a wingspan of 38 feet, 5 inches, length of 58 feet, 3 inches, and a height of 16 feet, 6 inches. It possesses a striking presence. Powered by two 17,900-pound thrust General Electric J79 GE-17 jet engines, the QF-4 Phantom can reach a maximum speed of 1,485 miles per hour and operate at altitudes up to 56,100 feet. The dawn of a new era in unmanned flight has arrived with the successful test flight of the QF-16. A remarkable endeavor in creating a faster and more agile target plane for training fighter pilots. As the engines roar to life, the sleek and formidable QF-16 takes to the skies, embodying the convergence of cutting-edge technology and aviation prowess. This groundbreaking two-year program aims to revolutionize the training landscape, providing pilots with a dynamic and responsive target that mirrors the capabilities of modern adversaries. The QF-16's high-definition visuals further enhance the training experience. Offering a level of realism that pushes the boundaries of traditional simulations. With each takeoff, the QF-16 demonstrates its exceptional maneuverability and versatility, challenging pilots to hone their skills in a rapidly evolving operational environment. Through these operations, this groundbreaking unmanned aircraft stands as a testament to human ingenuity, 
and the constant pursuit of excellence. The tireless efforts of countless engineers, researchers, and aviation experts have not only brought the QF-16 to life, but have also paved the way for future innovations in unmanned flight and pilot training. The QF-16 represents a significant milestone, marking a new chapter in the ever-evolving world of aerial combat and training methodologies. With their unwavering dedication, unparalleled expertise, and cutting-edge aircraft, these skilled military personnel are ready to face any challenge that comes their way. The commitment to excellence ensures the safety and success of critical operations in diverse and demanding environments. That's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our 